Hey there, Pisces. How you doing? Welcome to Soulvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energies for the week, sun, moon, and rising. At the time of this reading, we have Mercury and Capricorn trining Jupiter. So that's a pretty good energy to play catch up on, on all the things that you may need to play catch up on. So you can start 2024 with a clean slate. So it's a great time and opportunity to take charge of that, dear friends. If we haven't met, I am Jamie. And let's connect in and see what is going on for you, Pisces. I'm going to look at the overall energies and then we'll do some further clarification. So I've got five of fire, two of earth, seven of earth. I'm going to pull a few more and then um, we'll get into it. Let me just get one more. Thanks, spirit. Okay, let me just check my camera. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so straight up that there seem wow, I just realized you've got all major arcanas here. Straight up, Pisces, it seems like there's something going on. I don't know if it's an internal battle that you're experiencing right now. Like things you want to do, then consider something else you should potentially be doing to resolve something is what it feels like. Um, there's some element here with the tool of earth of like, you need to make a decision or want to make a decision on something. You feel perhaps you need to go in one direction or another, but I don't know right now if you're putting too much pressure on yourself is what it feels like here. Because with the seven of earth, it's like, Things might be in a bit of a standstill right now, or maybe you're not feeling like anything's actually progressing, but it is. Um, and I don't, I'm just getting like, take a breath right now. Take a breath. Uh, no major decisions need to be made right now. I know you might feel the pressure with it, but I'm just getting told, sit back a bit, Pisces. Uh, be gentle on yourself. The high priestess life experience and the wheel energy is kind of uh, reiterating that. But I feel a lot of this is uh, a mentality right now. And what I mean by that, the high priestess, yes, is a lot about your intuition. Sometimes we can be connecting into our intuition. It's kind of like God speaking to you, the universe speaking to you, right? Your inner compass. And a part of that too is that we feel because we've received certain information, which, you know, subject to where that information comes from whether it's people feeding you information, whether it's like your intuition, like in your gut, you know, something needs to change. And maybe part of that is pressure that something needs to change. But what, again, this specifically is saying have patience. So there's something here about patience needed to take your time to breathe is what I keep hearing because real consideration needs to take play right now. Okay. Okay. Because we do know that once a decision is made, this can potentially be something significant for you. So, and it, sometimes things are about timing, right? At the end of the day, it's not your time, it's spirit's time. It's God's time. And I feel that something is changing. It's talking about a significant life event and we'll have a look a bit deeper on what that is, but it's time in many ways for you to expand, to become more you, to become more alive in who you are in, in pushing, you know, to the next chapter of whatever that is for you. Maybe you've been playing small and there's something that you need to do to take a bigger step forward in, in achieving the things that you want to achieve in obtaining the things that you want to obtain because the wheel energy is good energy. This is about a positive change, positive influence. Okay. Something moving forward. That's really, really good for you here, Pisces. So I'm liking that. I'm really liking that. And that's why I feel like you might be taking, trying to move things forward, maybe because you want a little bit more control and understanding that because it makes you feel safe. But I'm getting just told like, sit back a little bit. Okay. Let's just get a couple more and see where this takes us. <clears throat> and then we'll further clarify. Oh, it's given us a few. Okay, so we've got the moon energy, the ace of fire, the seven of air and nine of water. So I feel this is talking about your insights again, your psychic abilities, your 
the visions or things that may be coming to you. In addition, there's fears that can also be related to the moon, you know, things that we see that may not be there, that we're creating these things um, that we can't see. So we're trying to make sense of what we can't see because we might feel something. Okay. Uh, So I feel, again, there's something here to slow down. Right now in the energy over the weekend, maybe you had a few things going on. We did have some energy that could could create some illusion and that can happen with the moon energy. Okay, the Ace of Fire is talking about something new, exciting happening here for you. But if you're making changes and trying to control the situation, it's very hard for things that you can't see that are happening in the background to present it to you, to give you this gift of what's showing up. If you're trying to make things happen, that's not, you know... That's not God's way or God's will or the universe's way or will. Okay. So just be mindful of that. I, I just, again, I'm just hearing, take a breath, like take a step back. Um, the seven of air is talking about plans that need revision. There's a lot going on that you probably can't see because as we move through this, we've got the nine of water guys and the nine of water is all about you know, nine of cups, feeling good, happy place, love and life. So you know, be, be gentle on yourself, Pisces right now. Yeah. Just, just chill. Just chill is what I'm feeling. Okay. And I know that's sometimes hard when we want things to happen. We want things to move forward. We want people to be doing certain things that they should be doing. You got a lot going on. Uh, no doubt season. It's a silly season, right? Fun, silly, happy season for some. And I don't know, just have a bit of fun with it right now. Let's have a look at what this uh, five of fire energy is about. So we've got death energy and eight of emotions. And this is what I see is happening here right now. There's things that you're, I feel more so an internal battle here. Because with this internal battle, you've got death energy and eight of emotions. So something seems to be ending or coming to a close but also you being asked or feeling like you just need to move on from this. Um, Maybe this is talking about a time to move on from the conflict, not necessarily a person, a situation. It's time to move from the conflict. It's time to whatever these internal battles, maybe it's time to let go of certain thoughts, behaviors, the way that you're operating. Um, Like it needs to come to an end because then we've got nine of emotions. There seems to be a connection here, depth here, feeling here, maybe even an apology. Uh, but someone wants to come, you know, connect and talk and maybe open up here about something or maybe that's something that you need to do for yourself, about yourself or for a situation right now. Because it seems like you want to move on from s- – maybe that's what you're trying to do is make a decision because you're not liking the energy that you're in and the easiest way that you know how to handle it is just to go. And maybe, you know, having a bit of a break might be hel- helpful or healthy – but there's also parts of you perhaps on what can you let go of to stop those that scenario potentially from happening. I don't know what conflicts there. I don't know what challenging things that you're doing or dealing with right now. Maybe you're trying to do like, 20 things um, because everything's just coming at you and you're just like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. But I feel those that is going to come to an end and you can move on. Okay. Getting to this nine of water because you're starting with the eight, moving to the nine of cups. Okay. So that that's, that's good energy. Uh, two of earth. What do we need to know? Okay. We've got six of voices, page of emotions and seven of emotions. So again, we can see here about things are going to get calmer. Things are going to chill out. You're going to move away from anything that's been challenging, complex. Um, You know, I feel like there's just internal battles right now, potentially, or dealing with someone that is constantly getting you to think, question things or whatever else. But what I like again is now you've got the page of emotions. So you've gone from the night of emotions to the page of emotions. So it seems like there's something here or someone is expressing interest, letting you know how they feel in some way. It may not be a lot, but I think it's enough to help you potentially make a decision here, or it's something that you're feeling about a situation. Okay. Because it is showing again that there is choice here. Okay. This is like the seven of cups energy here, a decision again, but a part of it is maybe it doesn't need to be so serious, even though it might be a serious matter or a serious situation. 
Again, I think there's a part of letting go and allowing the space to open up, to play out as it needs to play out so you can have more clarity because if you're holding tight on something or constantly thinking about what's going on or whatever else, it's like, it's not giving you room to breathe, to make decision from a true place, true source, higher power, higher potential of something here. Okay. So that just seems to be <clears throat> coming up. Seven of earth. Yeah, guys, I'm still sick. You can <clears throat> now I can hear it in my own voice right now. Okay, seven of earth. One more, thank you, spirit. Oh, it's giving us more. Okay, so you've got awakening energy. We've got the queen of emotions, which is you Pisces, the star card and three of materials. This is great. So I feel like someone is figuring something out here, whether this is you or a situation that you're dealing with. Someone is like, Whoa, can finally see, can finally see what's going on. Maybe finally can see their approach and who you are. Having the depth to it, meeting you where you're finally at. And I don't know what this is about. Some goal, some desire that you've had, that you've spent a lot of time investing in. I feel you're going to start seeing this build now. Like something's going to start growing. Something's going to start building from this. This is really good energy because the seven of earth is about seeds that you've planted, things that are growing, but you can't see maybe, you know, to the eye, but it scientifically, universally, you know, things are happening. I feel like the universe and God is always, you know, 10 steps ahead. We, you can't see what's happening next, but spirit does. And I feel this is part of it here, you know, but there's some... I don't know why it keeps just saying a breath of fresh air. Something is opening up here or you're choosing to do something that's just going to help you like lighten the load pretty significantly here, Pisces, which I really, really like for you. Um, she looks like Taylor Swift. That's so funny. I Anyway, um, you know, there's, there's just something really good here that's amplifying and that's growing. You might be coming into contact with someone who wants to work on a project or build a project or just someone who is also invested in something that you're invested in. So it could be a potential relationship that wants to start building from a solid foundation because we can see this is something that's intertwined, that's deeply connected here to want to grow together. Let's have a look at the high priestess and what the high priestess wants us to know here. Hi, priestess. Thank you, spirit. One more. Okay. <clears throat> so we have got the emperor, the seven of materials and the queen of materials. Wow. So you've got seven of materials again. So I don't know if there's a significant counterpart here that's also invested. Okay. And Maybe that's why you're being asked to have patience because things are happening underneath that you can't see or something needs to be shown that you can't see yet because it's going to go from the seven to the queen of materials. So something that's deeply invested, something that you're going to see that um, I just feel whatever this trigger and why I'm saying trigger because I feel like this is more so in terms of growth it's like when something's building or something, you know, needs to be harvested as an example, you, you know, when it's meant to be harvested initially, it might look bare, but you know, with more, more water, more seeds, this is not a time to stand still by the way, or stay standing exactly where you are. You need to keep going and keep doing, um, how to best serve yourself amongst all this is again, not a time to stand in a, st in a still spot. It's a time to stand still, but a time to stand, it's, it's, uh, sorry, a time to be still, but not stand still. Let me get that right. Because I feel here there's something that is um, happening that you still need to put effort into, okay, and still lead knowing that this is going to come to fruition, okay, because we're seeing this going from the seven to the queen of materials. So this could be part of the patience is not making rash decisions before you reach the goal or reach the gold as an example, Um so keep putting effort in, okay? This is not, I just feel like don't give up yet if there's something that you're questioning of moving away from or walking away. I think more than anything to walk away from is your thoughts that defeating thoughts or defeating activities that are conflicting in energy, 
which is very hard. If you're putting out, you want to work on this, but you're doing something totally opposite that shows that, well, I really want this, but I'm going to go do this because I'm not sure if this is going to work out. Well, the belief system's already kind of crashed there and it's very hard for spirit to, to know, well, which one do you actually want? Well, you can kind of have both and see where it goes. And then when you finally decide, then I can push and do whatever you need to do. But again, it's not this free will. There's the free will and then there's, you know, spirit supporting him. So let's have a look at this life experience energy, Pisces. One more. Thank you, spirit. Night of voices, inspiration, and we have, sorry, six of inspiration. And then we had six of emotions in here. So I feel like someone does want to communicate. This could be past energy or a pretty significant connection here, a soul connection where finally maybe you're going to get the recognition you need um, or I feel this is interesting and I, I've never got this before, but I'm noticing the star here and the stars. They're different stars. But the point is, is I feel like there's something emulating here from an energy that is coming towards you, okay? That's going to give you some form of recognition. That's going to change whatever experience is going on. And sometimes this this life experience or life change is that little blessing that you can't see yet that you've been waiting for. It may not come out the way you exactly want it here, Pisces, but I feel like this is like you know, something that's going to come through pretty quickly. And then we see that things are moving forward quite um, swiftly as well. So there's a double energy here of whatever comes through, whatever conversation ha has had, you know, um, I feel you're getting the recognition to move forward. Whatever, whatever change has happened is going to put you, because after, from the five to the six, right? So Maybe there has been some form of loss, some form of disappointment, some form of like something needs to change because I'm not liking where I'm at. And we can see the five, that's where it started over with the five of wands. So I feel you're getting some news or some efforts or some understanding around a situation that's going to put you in a place to move forward and feel confident in that moving forward because you've got the signs and the recognition you need to make whatever change it is for your life. Okay, let's have a look at the the wheel energy because this is going to share more on what this is okay wow so you've got two of inspiration muse of inspiration and muse of voices so a lot of masculine energy showing up here you've got one's energy and air energy so fire and air energy and then the two of inspiration I don't know if you're coming these are two people you're coming into partnership with um, because there's three here there's you plus two others. Uh, this could also be, you know, parts of you that you have to bring out right now to really muster up the energy of your plans. Okay. It's because now things are moving forward. You've got the clarity. It's like, okay, got the clarity. Uh, like I'm winning. Maybe this is something that you've been waiting for to come in, maybe around work, maybe around an opportunity of some kind that's f moving forward. Maybe it's going to help you financially. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I, for some of you, I feel some opportunity offer that you've been waiting for is showing up. In addition to this, this the wheel energy, this is pos positive change that's happening. So I just want to remind you, this is positive change that's happening. Maybe initially, you know, because you've been dealing with this, I think you're just set and prepared and in an energy that you're very open to what's next for you here, Pisces. And a part of this is like I said, firing up this internal energy to take charge of your passion, being really in pursuit of that, right? Calling in that masculine energy. doesn't matter if you're a man or woman, you just need that masculine energy to make things happen in the direction that you want. In addition to that, it's also like you've got to get your bring in all your part, the parts of you that is emotionally intact because the muse of voices is emotionally intact. Okay. They know how to handle things. They know how to deal with things. They're looking at what they need to do rather than spending too much time in feeling what they need to do. It doesn't mean that they're not intuitive. It just means that they know how to handle their emotions to get what they need done. So there seems to be something that needs to progress forward now. Um, so maybe part of you already had plans, but I feel like things are just really moving into motion with this. Let's see more on what I really do want to see more on what this change is. I'm going to get another deck. Um, where is, oh, that's what I wanted. I want to see what this, 
this change is for you because we want to kind of know that right what this change is with this life event what it's in relation to thank you spirit can you share more on this life event and the wheel of fortune please life event and wheel of fortune what do we need to know here for pisces oh yes one more oh this is looking good I want to give you some hugs. <laughs> this is nice. So this, like I said, the harvest, the win, the gateway, the accolades, the rewards, the benefits that's coming, whatever has needed to be balanced out is balancing out. I don't know if this is connected to family or a situation of some kind, um, or being reconnected to family, maybe that you haven't seen sometime or making a choice that, Oh, I don't know what this is, but whoever you're connecting with or jumping in with on a situation this could could be a project this could be your life you could be moving in with someone maybe reconciling with someone or moving into a whole new direction but it's putting you in a place that is golden right golden at the end of the day very rewarding highly rewarding i probably should say but it's something that's going to make you feel like i got this finally i just wanted to feel within myself and at home, right? That's what this angel of balance is. It's feeling at home within yourself, but you're also going back home and whatever back home is for you, whether it's feeling within yourself, feeling empowered, feeling like you're loved and cared for in the way that you deserve. It could be, get, like I said, connecting with family as part of it, but this is some change that's happening for you in a really positive way. I feel for some of you, you might be making a choice between two people or two locations as an example as well uh could be the case the moon energy what do we need to know yeah i can see the conflict again here pisces five of voices four of voices seven of voices and it's funny we've got the seven of voices here too hmm I feel this is interesting. So whoever maybe you've been in conflict with or some situation you're thinking about could be a lot of different scenarios, okay, that you're questioning or it's interesting. I've never noticed this, but she's got dark eyes and blue eyes. I have never noticed that this whole time I've had this deck. It's so interesting. It's kind of like the dark and the light, but which path, which direction, but also someone, the willingness to want to make something work and not be in conflict anymore. It's like people are kind of praying and meditating to get to a place of like peace and reconciliation of some kind is what I feel. And I feel someone might be focused too much on the conflict rather than on how to fix it. And as part of that thought and thinking, you're st creating some ideas here of and it was just interesting. Like, I don't feel you've heard from maybe or spoken much to this person lately or this situation lately, but you might find that in this quiet time, comes knocking someone comes knocking on your door to kind of peace out or to make things okay but we can already see this wanting to happen okay but because this has happened it's like you're waiting to find out some other news or potentially some other news or that's what's on your mind is what this is is what this is real authentic genuine like I want to be at peace and I'm actually doing okay at peace right now. So it's like you want to know more information, but at the same time, you don't. <laughs> it's like you're con potentially concerned of what may be, if that makes sense. But again, I don't know if it's true or not anyway, because it's more around your thoughts. And, it, you know, do you notice like sometimes 95% of the things that we worry about don't happen? 
I don't know. Sometimes that's just the way it is. We stress out about situations or things and they don't even happen or we end up manifesting them that they happen. So just be careful of what you're thinking right now um, and make sure that you're trusting yourself and not deceiving yourself through this process. So Ace of Fire, we've got 10 of Voices. Queen of Inspiration, Nine of Materials. Great. So this energy that you get into or this little bit of funky funky monkey energy that's going to come to an end that it's like you're going to catch wind of something that you're actually excited about there's like a little shift in focus I feel this is just a tiny dip that you may get into if there's a full change here that even though it's exciting there's some sadness or something that you've had to let go of as part of this change or this shift but it's very this is like high potential promising that we can see with a life event and will of fortune like this is pretty significant and setting you up for ultimate success here if you choose to see it that way but i think amongst it you still have hope or still want something to come to peace or closure here but at the same time the i don't know i just i feel a dip in energy and i'm not sure what that dip is but that's going to come to an end pretty quickly. I don't feel you're going to stay in that energy or state for long. What I see is, is now that's kind of over the hardships, the challenges, like you kind of had just had to pull the knives out of your back. Cause I, I think in some way, maybe you kept re putting them in there, you know, kept hurting yourself over and over and over again, even though this situation or that complexity or difficulty has ended, it's like you're revisiting it for some reason. And I'm not sure why that may be happening because there's something new on the horizon. There's something exciting on the horizon here. Here. and we can see this um with this queen of inspiration and nine of materials like you're coming into your own here you've got the um the one's energy again so there could be a significant counterpart like i said we can see that here in some regard we can see that over there the king of wands the queen of wands but again you're coming into your own here you're taking charge of something you're feeling really good about yourself feeling really positive about where you're going and something is growing and growing in a way that you're feeling good you're feeling successful you're feeling abundant and there's rewards and benefits on the other side so here we get the seven of air again so what what is this seven of air that we need to know about thank you spirit okay a lot to say page of air justice we all want justice the five of material and the full so someone's going to come to you with some form of news here okay and maybe it's going to blow your mind a bit maybe it's going to be something that someone's going to give you that's going to help spark some energy or gain clarity in a direction that you want to go or something that you want to understand better and maybe this is part of your intuition that was niggling but someone is going to come through with some information for you okay uh, and whoever's coming through it's like something's going to crack open and make sense uh, in some way I want to say balance out but I still feel here that you feel at a bit of a loss from whatever information that you learn but it's empowering you to take a chance on something else here. Okay. So I don't know if you learn that someone hasn't, you know, done the right thing or that the timing of something just is going to be delayed potentially. Um, because I think you're worried about something here. I don't know if it's finances. Um, or something hasn't worked out your way, but I can see, I want to get a little bit more on this five of materials energy. Um, where's the other deck? Can I get some more on this five of materials? Thank you, spirit. What do we need to know about the five of materials? See, they're coming again. So whatever this message is, it's confirming the message coming through. But if you've been spending a lot of time on your own or doing your own thing, even though you're, you're empowered in this, um, I feel that might be coming to an end for, for some of you, right? And maybe that's part of what's scary. Or maybe there's some part here of now you are going on out on your own and this is a new chapter for you. And that's what is kind of destined here. And maybe that's where you kind of feel like, but I wasn't expecting to do this on my own. I thought I was in partnership with someone. Um, let's get more on the, the judgment. Okay. 
Yeah, see, I feel like there was there's a, a counterpart here that you're very connected to, that you felt like you were building something together, but something to do with the devil energy. Share more on this devil energy. Got the strength, the two of cups, eight of cups, and the magician. See, and it's like your coming circle again is like something isn't feeling right or something just feels like wrong intention here. But you're asked, you're being asked to hang in there with this strength energy because there is a connection, okay? At the same time, you've got to move away from whatever this toxic energy is. And I feel some way and somehow someone is, can't or is struggling with it but they have everything they need to move away from this energy share more what this devil energy is what do we need to know about this share more on this devil energy yeah see there's something that's come through with some information and i do see that from this wands energy there's some news that's coming through that you're just not liking Let's share more on this nine of water. So we've got another page, eight of voices and two of materials. So there seems to be another offer or opportunity that someone's presenting themselves or putting some effort in here. While it not may be huge, I feel like the news of this is like, okay, I don't know if you're too excited about it or happy about it or whatever's showing up here. And I feel like you're trying to figure out how do I make this work? How do I make this happen? What else do we need to know here with this page of materials? deck sorry guys what do we need to know about this page of materials yeah I feel like I said someone wants to put effort in here because now they know what you know eight of material oh, sorry not eight of swords the emperor yeah so You've got the six of wands, three of cups, five of wands. So again, there's some recognition or someone wanting to come forward here to say like, you matter, I care, and you're in conflict with it. Like someone wants to come together here, wants to make an effort, but you're in conflict. Because I think you've been doing well with whatever you've been doing, even though you've got to make choices and decisions on paths forward. Um, there's something here about getting to your content place. Okay, final message for Pisces. Your love, you and your loved ones are safe. Well, that's great because that's new moon in Cancer. Nothing yet set in stone. What do you need to release? And then final energy, your hard work is paying off. I'm just going to say here, Pisces, right now, it's so important to take things day by day because I feel there's so much that's opening up or information coming through and you may have your intuition, but I also feel there's a little bit of energy that is creating self-fulfilling ideas or thoughts and situations that may not be happening because I can see effort wants to be made in this situation, something to rebuild, something to balance out, um, something to, you know, come together um, and make things right here. And that's, I think what you want, but I can see again, this little bit of self-sabotage and that's what this could be is like how to get back on the same page again. And that's maybe what you're trying to figure out. And we self-sabotage 
and self-sabotage because we're not feeling safe about something. So you've got to figure out why you're not feeling safe or where you're feeling a bit disconnected here or just misaligning. Um, And I think you need to get to the source of that because it's saying here, what do you need to release? Nothing is set in stone, right? We have free will. We have opportunity to make changes, to grow, to expand who we are as a person, to change our thoughts, our beliefs, our patterns and behaviors. They're just not overnight things sometimes, right? It takes sometimes time. And it's saying like your hard work is paying off. Your family is protected. Just keep putting in the work because the results will come. But sometimes it's letting go, giving space and allowing that's going to be your greatest asset right now in terms of this situation. So I'm going to leave that with you, dear friends. I'd like to hear in the comments below how you feel connected. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe so we can stay connected. More importantly, maybe we get to help other Pisces as well. Um, And, you know, keep, keep doing the work that we're all meant to be doing and as being warriors of light. We'll speak soon. Bye now.